like I'd say Rodney or someone was like, was like, we're under new management now, you know, or something like that, meaning that I was no longer in power, that I, that, that I was not king anymore, that, that Lucifer star lines or my company basically was no longer mine, that they were taking over and, 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 and they were going to be under new management or something like that. And I was like, no, you can't do that. It's my company. It's my, it's my country. America is my country. Like, like, like I told Rodney to go fuck off. You know, I said, I said, fuck off. You know, I mean, basically, I mean, Lucifer Star Lines, Lucifer White Star Lines is my company. Like every stitch, every wagon, every, every rivet, every building, everything about Lucifer Star Line, White Star Lines was, is mine. Every train, every track, every timber. It's my company. It's my, it's my thing. Like I said, I, I had promised. I had made deals with, with the orphanages. I had made deals with, with, with different people. I had, I had, I had negotiations with, with Mexico. I had negotiations with, uh, with other countries. You know, and all of a sudden Rodney wanted to just walk into it and basically be like, We're under, you're under new management now. You know, all gung ho, like like he could just own the place. Anyway, like I say, and and I said no, it's my company. It's that's my name. My name is on my company. It's Lucifer White Star Lines. Lucifer Star Line. It's my company. You can't just take it over. Anyway, though, Rodney thought just because he was taller than me, that he could just take over or something like that. I don't really know. I'm not exactly sure. Like I said, my opinion of, of, of Rodney Briley degraded down to basically nothing more than a fucking drug addict. I didn't give a fuck. Like, I was pissed. I was like, no. It's my company. Like I said, I was protecting orphanages. Orphans. I, there was orphans living inside of my buildings. You know, I had whole cities of people that worked for me. You know, the Irish, the Scottish... The Germans, I had all kinds of people, and they worked for me. They had made deals with me. You know, it's my company. You know, th those were my steamships. And I said that's one of the reasons why, why I was, I wanted to, I mean, I wanted to evacuate Europe and basically move everyone into America so they could all be in one, all my people could be in one country because I was giving up. You know, there's too many people like Rodney out there that would just be like, you're under new management now. <laughs> You know, just like, and I just felt like, just, ah, like I just was pissed because, because I mean, I had spent lifetimes, I had spent thousands of children, thousands of workers, you know, and just this little, ah, I was angry. I was very angry. Technically, I think I might have wanted Rodney killed. Because, it, you, you know, he just walked into my life, basically, and was like, was like, you're under new management now. You know, I was like. <sighs> like, I mean, Rodney was, a, was, a, was an insignificant twit of a man. And other people would probably agree with me. A, a fucking moron. Like I said, um. I tried to, 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 to distill wisdom on Rodney, and it didn't work. He's a fucking moron. He didn't understand about anything of leading a country or leading a people. He didn't understand respect, mutual respect, mutual caring, mutual benefit. He didn't, you know, he just understood, like, gung-ho, like, I don't know... He didn't understand about, you know, I had promised thousands of people, millions of people. They depended on me. They needed, you know, they, they thought they were safe. Or they knew that they were safe with me. You know, I mean, thousands of years, millions of years of respect, of never lying, never going back on a deal. And this twit of a man comes into, comes into my life with, with this other piece of shit, Rick Bush, Easy Street. And they think they can just run my country or something like that. 
like I say, I mean, you know, Rodney came at me basically saying that 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 that, that, that my company, that my country, was under new management now. Blah blah. blah. <sighs> Hundreds of years of building projects. Everything from 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 from, from the Titanic to the the the, H, the, the, the LS Titanic. By the way, like I say, the HMS and, and RMS, that all came later. The real ships were the LS. That's why it's still on the trains. Like I said, I should have had the ships branded. I said that later, <laughs> later on. I said, I said, I should have branded the fucking ships. It was too easy to paint a new name on the ship. So they could never forget who built those ships. They were my ships. It was uh, the orphans built those ships. Other people built. My people built those ships. My loyal people that believed in a in a brighter future, that believed in something real, that believed in 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 labor and work and effort, that effort would get them somewhere. And then this twit of a man wants to become a conqueror or some shit like that, or run things his way. I said, I mean, you know, eight-hour days, vacation, um, science and technology and effort. You know, I mean, it takes a lot of work to really lead people. You don't just get up on stage and go, oh, yeah, well, let's put it up your hands and wave. <laughs> Okay, let's go build something. <sighs> you don't just do that. You know, you can't, it's not a party. You don't just get up there and act all sexy and hot and lead people down through a country. You don't just, you, you don't just go, make a way, make a way. You know, that's not how you lead a country. That's not how you lead a country. You know, you lead a country through laws, and it takes, it's a lot of effort. You know, you have to be someone real. You have to, you have to inspire them. You have to give them hope. You have to be able to feed them. You have to be able to clothe them. I mean, it's not just like a party where you just pass out cocaine and, and, and suddenly they follow you. Like, my people would die for me. Like, I was Lucifer's star. Like, you know, builder of epic ships. Like the LS Titanic, LS this, LS that, steamships, steam trains. Like, I mean, I had spent my existence, my life, like, America and the human race and other races was my life's work. Like technically, the the culmination of a hundred of of like twenty trillion years of effort put into one little single point. Like thousands of people believing in in something real. You know, it wasn't just the hey, let's oh yeah, Easy Street, let's go let's go get our car, go down Easy Street. You know, it wasn't like that. You know, inspiring people. You know, going up in the face of, of, of people saying that, 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 that it wasn't going to work, that we were going to fail. You know, time and time again, I had, I had shown, I had brought out the next new thing, the next biggest thing. I had shaken and changed existence over and over again. Like, to the point where people just expected great things from me. People expected me to change life, to change existence, to make, you know, to give them something amazing. Like, and, and I did. I did over and over again. The Titanic, the, uh, the, all the, the steam trains, rails, production, fabrication, taller and taller buildings, the Empire State Building, the Twin Towers. Technically, I designed it. But anyway, I didn't actually build it. Um, the Empire State Building was probably the last building I built. But, um, but I mean, you know, I mean, clean water. 
you know, the car, the, the aircraft, you know, the, the, the jet engine. I had, I had changed 